All right, so let's start a project in Java that does both scanning and printing to the screen. We'll start with printing to the screen and we'll add in some scanning. All right, so we're using OpenJDK 17. I'm going to name my project, so my second Java project. And I'm going to create a package inside of that project in just a moment. By right clicking on source, new package, I'm going to name the package my package, and I'm going to insert a Java class inside of that package called my Java class. All right, so we've got the package name, we've got the class laid out. Now we're going to fill it in. So I'm going to type in main, just like that, and wait. And uh, IntelliJ will prompt, well, we'll, we'll fill that out. Now S out for print line. And just wait till it, it prompts you to fill it in, to flesh it out. And now we're going to, conf we're going to compile it, and then we're going to run it. Okay, I've filled in hello into the print line. Now I'm going to run it. And you'll see the console open up and it prints hello to the screen. Fantastic. All right. So now let's modify this program to allow for scanning. So we're going to have to add in a library. Import, and we're going to bring in the scanning library. So java.util.scanner, and then semicolon, like that. And it goes and gets grayed out because we haven't actually done anything with uh, scanning objects yet. As soon as we do, that will colorify again. All right. So hello, what is your name? Question mark. So I'm, I'm prompting the user to write something, but then I have to create an object for doing the scanning. So how do I do that? So let's write some things in here. So we're going to make a scan object. So I'm calling it scan object and I'm saying it's new and it's of type scanner and we're going to use system in uh, within scanner. Okay, and you can see I get prompted right here for in. So system.in. Okay, and put a semicolon there, but it's red. The scan object is red. Why is that? I'll go to the beginning right there and you'll see a little red light bulb shows up. Create local variable scan object. It needs to be shown that it has a particular type of type scanner on the left hand side. So we have to have both scanner on the right side and scanner on the left side. Okay, and we'll get into why that's the case later on. But for the time being, you just have to know that you have to declare the type of the object on the left hand side too, after saying that it's a new um, type of object on the right hand side of the equal sign. Next, I'm going to create a variable that comes out of scan object when we do the scanning after a method like a function is used called um, next, I think it's next line right there. Yep, right there, which will output as you can see of type string. Okay. So it will output a string when it scans, but still I see some red right here and a red light bulb shows up on the left. Click on the little down arrow on the on that red light bulb and you'll see that it says that we have to create a local variable of type string because we use next line, okay? So we have a variable of type string. I'm going to rename it username, okay, that will be generated when the next line method is used. Now I'm going to do an S out, a print line, system out print line, that will use that variable username and display it to the screen. So I say your name is in double quotes, and then I put a plus username, and then I put another plus and double quotes and a period like this. And this will print out the user's name that they've typed in. 
And then finally, I'm going to close my scan object. I'm going to clean it up afterwards, okay? Because I don't need it anymore. So scan object dot close and close with a parentheses is a method, okay? So that method or like a function is going to be called at the very end to clean it up. So I compile and I'm going to run it. So compile with a hammer, run it with that triangle right there. And it is now in the console prompting me for my name. I hit enter and then it prints out your name is James or whatever your name is that you typed in. Great. So could I have written this without the scan object close? The answer is yes. You can see if I compile that with it commented out. I get prompted for my name. I type in my name, hit enter, and it still works. It's optional, but it's a good idea to close it up afterwards. It cleans up memory at the very end. Okay. So let's modify this. Let's see if I can capitalize all the letters in my name by taking this username and converting it to uppercase. And you can see that you're prompted down here to add in locale.root. And when I did that, up at the top of the screen, on line three, IntelliJ added in the library for locale. And locale allows you to specify geography and language as well. And we're using a sort of default variable called, or a constant called root. I'm running, compiling and running this again. I'm asking for the name. I compile and, and run it and add in my name and it capitalizes it as James. See, that all works out just fine. So you can see that IntelliJ helped me figure out what needed to be done.